thanks again for watching my video and thanks for watching my youtube channel data on my view in this video i'm going to show how to create a store procedures in sap hana and how to use that store procedure in sap hana sql script view which is calculation view so basically uh, there is a change huge change in sap hana they have deprecated the procedures that we are able to create in hana studio from sap hana modular perspective so that feature has been deprecated so if you want to create a stored procedure you need to go to sap hana development perspective please my watch sorry please my previous videos which i have mentioned in my description of this video so that you can see how to create a stored procedures and how to create a stored procedures with input parameters so as i said in this video i'm going to show stored procedures with input parameters with output parameters so we have to define the output parameters to access the stored procedures inside the calculation view all right so when i try to create a new stored procedure it will give this template where we have to modify the begin and end section we have to pass our scripts and we have to define our parameters within this parenthesis so let us try to create one input parameters and one output parameters So watch my previous video to know how to define input parameters. So I'm just trying to fast forward. So I'm just defining an input parameter called T name, and I have to specify the data type. So to define the output parameter, I have to say output, and I have to say the name of the output parameter and data so here uh, we will go back to this section so at, at present i will add this as xxx we have to replace this so let me tell you why i have added here so to define the single parameter or uh, you are going to handle with a single field you can define that uh, parameter name it can be any name and you can define the data type Let us here. We are going to write some select statement, which is going to give us uh, output of two different columns. So we want to store two different columns in our output parameter. So we have to create a type. So that type is going to hold all the columns. So since we are handling a single column, we are easily defining that column as a parameter and passing the data name. to handle multiple columns we have to create a type table so which i'm going to show so once we created a type table we can access that type table here so which is going to store the output of the stored procedures so let us add select statement so i'm trying to add a same as my previous video fill name from schema sap a4 parts dot dot my table name db03 so basically it's a data dictionary table and i'm adding a bad condition Here, as you can see, I have used input parameter T name in my var condition. So to define output parameter, we have to say out, and here I'm going to replace. So as I said, we have to create a type table. So I have script here. So this is a script create type, and this is my schema where I'm going to create a type table, and this is my table name type uh, type name. as table and i'm going to pass my table uh, field name so it can be anything because so whatever the value that you are going to pass as output will be stored under this column so as you can see i have defined two columns in my select statement so it means it is going to give you the output as two different columns so to store that i have added tab name with uh, data type and field name with data type so i'm going to create this 
attachment created successfully you can see here so once you create that you can see the uh, created types which I will show in a minute alright go back here so take this or you can just take this one and uh, here you can pass the name of the output parameter let me say lab one and the type This is my type. So that's it. So we have defined the output parameter name. So we have to use it somewhere. So we have to store this as a value. Right. So that's it. Just validate and activate. So in case if you are getting an error message, you can see here. So actually we don't have error so it is successfully completed so once we created the stored procedure you can go to HANA modeler where you can see that systems so and under schema you have a procedures so under procedures you have a folder called the table tabs this refers this and you can see the newly created type so this is the one we created and we used to this in our stored procedure let me refresh this procedure and here you can see demo underscore sp2 so we have created this stored procedure our aim is to use this stored procedure inside the calculation view so let me go to content and uh, let me go back to my package Okay, let me create a new calculation view and this time I'm going to say SQL script let me name SP right click finish so we'll be seeing a window where we can type the SQL statements alright so here we are going to uh, say var output and we here we are going to pass the values right so we have to call that store procedure so let us check it here so we can check it there in the console itself since we have output parameter we have to use it here so type call Type the store procedure name. Let me see. So the store procedure name is SP2, and this is my tab name input parameter. And I have to say here because my I'm going to pass this as a value. Here I can say a equal to select we need var output we are on this code which is uh, default var output out equal to select tab name name alright from so we have output parameter so we have to say a so this output parameter is holding that table structure output from SAP store HANA store procedure. So we are going to get the data from that output parameter. So we have to say var output like this. And we need to define the columns. creating a calculation view. To create a calculation view, we have to have at least one measure. 
right so i'm going to add another column as one as c so we have two attributes here you can see and one measure columns right i'm going to validate this we got some error message model deploy syntax incorrect syntax near bar out let us check yeah we have to close this right, let me validate it again yeah this time it has completed successfully so no need to worry about the warnings so i can activate it click activate and add the changes click ok and then click this and click finish so it has completed successfully to verify that we have to go to this browse data preview option since we have hot coded the input parameter value we are going to get only the tab name with this value and uh, related field names on it so let me click data preview ok let me go to raw data here you can see tab name and field name that's it so we have used the store procedures integrate our SQL script calculation view thank you please subscribe my video channel and also please support me thank you